Hi, hello, and welcome back to Grand Blue Relink. I mean, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Let's continue our journey. Thank you for that. This one. So we are still missing two more quests. We still need to defeat a windworm. Uh huh. This is the one where we don't have any correct elements. And for the grand finale, well, that's not the grand finale, I'm pretty sure. We need to defeat Angra Mainyu. Oh boy. Please come again. I will. How about my masteries? Okay, we have some points, but I think I still need to do this for Gran and Cagliostro. But first, Hello. as I said in the previous episode, it's time for Fate Episodes or Mr. Siegfried. Let's go. Episode 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and the epilogue. We need more stats. Let's go. What was wrong with them? They would have been toast without you. Vern flew beside me, seething. We are strangers to this land. Those soldiers have a reputation to uphold. Yeah, but doesn't it get you riled up when people are so rude? I laughed. <laughs> if rudeness were the worst foe we ever faced, we'd be lucky warriors indeed. In truth, I empathize with them. It is the duty of a soldier to fight. Incompetence on the battlefield is a matter of great shame. My unwanted assistance was salt in the wound. I guess I could see that, but still... Listen, no one was badly hurt. That is all that matters. I had trained many knights in my day. They had gone through their growing pains, and tasting defeat and humiliation. Yes. Failure is bitter, but it is nourishment, and thus the knights learned and grew, each and every one of them, into powerful warriors. When it came to the finer points of warfare, the forces of Seed Hollow were clumsy at best, but their sense of duty was unparalleled. Upon hearing rumors of danger, they had acted swiftly, marching without fear to the monster's den. And though they had been forced to the very cusp of annihilation, not a soldier had wavered or fled. Now, they too had drunk deeply of the medicine of defeat. I believe it would course through them like fire and bring them newfound strength. The forces of Seed Hollow were capable of much, much more. I entered the warm wooden interior of my cabin on the Grand Cipher, carrying an armful of books. I lay them on the desk, drew out a chair, and took a short trip through Seed Hollow's history. Unbroken peace. For 500 years after the ending of the war, violence had not troubled the skies of Zeca Grande. There were your usual skirmishes, of course, power-hungry rebels, etc. But nothing so big it had not been quickly sorted out and buried in the sands of time. However, 15 years ago, tragedy on Dolly Island acted as a catalyst to the rise of Avia. Hitherto, peaceful primals went on rampage and hordes of monsters were drawn to the carnage. So that's why... I thought back to the disordered ranks of the forces of Seed Hollow. Peace had dulled their senses. They had forgotten how to handle swords and spears, forgotten how to manage monsters, each one vastly different in shape and movement. They need guidance. 
The people of Seed Hollow seem to be gardeners, fond of orchards and good rich earth. They had no love of war, nor possessed the means for a great campaign. Unless a revolution were to completely reshape this country, I did not believe it would ever pose a threat to Fiendrock. Its forces existed not to invade, but solely to defend. But now, they had not even the power to do that. Seed Hollow's soldiers were steadfast and honorable. I had seen that. But they no longer knew how to protect their land. I had come to admire the delicate flowers and many bowed trees that flourished in this clime, and did not wish to see them trampled under a monster's claw or an invader's boot. I could offer Seed Hollow's forces counsel, but I would have to tread carefully. After all, I was a foreigner, and a former captain of knights. One misstep, and I could forever sour the relations between Seed Hollow and Fiendrock. I will have to be discreet. I threw on my traveling cloak and arranged my pouch. Hearing no footfalls outside my room, I slipped through the door and padded softly down the corridor. Oh, hey, Siegfried. You heading out? Vern spotted me on the deck of the Grand Cipher. So much for stealing off unnoticed. I'm going for a walk. On your tiptoes? No way, man. I bet you're going on another one of your secret missions. Though small, Vern had inherited the legendary wisdom of the dragons. <sighs> Guilty as charged. But the fewer people who know about it, the better. Can you keep this from the others? Aw, oh, come on, Siegfried. We all know you won't yap for truth and honor and justice and all that. If you're gonna disappear, you should at least tell your captain. My butt will understand. I could find no objection. It seemed that all the adventures Vern had been on, all the grand and wondrous things he'd seen, had sharpened his insight. Yes, of course. You're right. I followed Vern to the captain's cabin. I have come to ask for permission to leave on a private mission. But I must warn you, if things go wrong, it could spell trouble for the crew. My throat was tight, light nerves, I supposed, and a touch of guilt. But the captain did no more than smile and wish me a safe journey. What'd you expect? We trust you. Fortune truly had graced me with the best of companions. Okay. Oh, one more, and after that is the fight. Four. Let's go. I strode through the gates of Seed Hollow. So, what you gonna do here? With a dragon on my tail. I would like to ask you the same question. Why did you follow me? Curiosity. What's a cool knight like you always doing when he leaves the Grand Cipher? Oh, curiosity killed the lizard. But no matter. Vern and the captain had offered me their complete trust, so I could do the same in return. Besides, if anything were to happen, I'd be there to protect him. You're welcome to stay, but I am only visiting Seed Hollow's forces again to offer help if I may. Nothing of interest. Sounds like something my bud would do. But I thought you were gonna leave them alone, to help them save face or whatever. I was, but I realized that, in the end, the safety of the people is too heavy a price to pay for pride. That's fair. No offense though, Siegfried. Your way with words is a little, um, special. So I'll just come along and do the talking. Twenty minutes later, Vern and I were in the heart of Seed Hollow, watching its soldiers scurry about like mice. Five hundred years of peace has truly taken its toll. 
Seed Hollow's forces had become only an army in name. In truth, the military affairs of the country were run by Zothba, a civilian and information broker. Everyone took orders from him. Dispatch from Zothba. We got a lost child on our hands. Everyone, split up and search for the mother. Yes, sir! Man, you ever just get lost and have a whole army look for your mom? Vern hovered by the branches of a tall oak, surveying the commotion with shining eyes. It is important to serve your people in times of concord as in times of strife, but I fear they have lost sight of their true duty. There is a saying, it is better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Peace should never so lull a nation that its defenses are abandoned and its soldiers turned into clerks and errand boys. Captain, new orders just came in. We're being sent to clear a horde of goblins camped right outside the city. Now these errand boys faced hordes of monsters who had been roused by Avia's machinations. Five hundred years of stillness, nature, and peace. Gone. All at the whim of a madwoman. You hear that, troops? Prepare for battle! Drive those goblins away from our homes! Yes, sir. Looks like we gotta fight goblins again. We sure got bark! Problem is, they ain't got bite. Are you worried about them? Aren't you? You saw them get their butts kicked into the next Skydom just a few days ago. I did, but failure is the mother of success. I readjusted my gauntlet and shifted my sword on my back. This is a chance for them to grow. I'll make sure of it. We'll see about that in the next episode. A little help from the shadows, huh? Now playing a Siegfried solo. Let's go. I don't need to know my skills at all. Vern and I left Seed Hollow and turned off the road, beating a straight path to the goblins' encampment through trees and underbrush. We arrived before the soldiers. In front of us, half hidden in the darkness of a cave, slinked the forms of dozens of goblins. Alone, goblins are not much of a threat, but when they're allowed to form hordes, I... Oh, I know all about those smart little suckers! They can plot stuff and coordinate and everything! I smiled. Vern was as much of a veteran as I was. So, earlier, you sounded like you were gonna help these soldiers out. What exactly have you got planned? As you know, all monsters are different and must be dealt with in different ways. We shall teach these tactics to the soldiers, but from the shadows. Plan rehearsed, Vern and I crept from the shade of the trees and into the mouth of the cave. Hmm. Ready? Here we go. Our the no the dark night returns. Let's go. You've got this map again? Oh no, this is First, different. Let's go for a frontal assault on the sentries. No. Nope. This is power. Don't worry. Looks like the soldiers are still oh, yeah. prepping for the fight. Perfect. That gives us just enough time to thin down. Oh, I remember how race. fun was this last time. <laughs> but it's too late to change my main character <laughs> at this point. Well, let's fix that, shall we? This is power. Look at that dude running off. Did you get lost or something? The enemy's that way. Hi. I can't believe they had so large a force. It's a good thing we came. This is power. Bear with me. Push through. Take heart. Your end is not. This is power. Get buddy. Push through. 
<laughs> Reinforcement! You got this, Sigrid! This is power! Push through! This is power! What are the no. Push through! Watch this. Oh, that's it. Come on, man. Right. I wanted to play more. I think the soldiers can pick off what's left. I think there are a few more goblins hidden. But likely not enough to reverse the tide. We had still better conduct a search, just to be safe. Let's go in deep. Look, it's a goblin oh. soldier. And what are those? It's little sidekicks. I don't think Seed Hollow's forces will be able to handle this. We should at least bring down the goblin soldier. So leave all the small fry alone? Got it. Don't want to rob Seed Hollow's finest of a job. Dirk's trying to hit you from far away. Defeat only the goblin soldier, okay. This is power! Push through! Good hit! Good hit! This is power! Oh wait, don't do that. Break! Stay the course! Stand strong! I'm not as logic! Push through! Done it. But I wanted to fight more. Well, I think we're done here. The army from Seed Hollow should be capable of handling the rest. Alright, let's head deeper in. Stay together and stay <sighs> Oh snap! Seems like they caught up. Let's hide! Holy Bahamut! We did it! The day is ours! Good work, troops! Vern and I crouched behind a craggy boulder and watched as the soldiers strode about the battlefield. Not a goblin was left. The voices of the triumphant rose up and resonated about the high, cool walls of the cavern. All went well. I guess, but those soldiers took a heck of a beating. Vern perched himself on top of the boulder, head cocked to one side. They will continue to grow. They have experience now, and what's more, confidence. They will learn to keep their wits about them in battle, to observe the enemy, and strategize. If you're sure, there's uh, something I've been wondering about, though, Siegfried. You didn't have to help these people. You're not even getting paid for this. So why go through the trouble? I laughed softly. I think you already know the answer to that riddle. Because everything good in this world is worth protecting. Nice, you got a sigil slot. Need something? All right, two more. Two more and we can start questing. <laughs> Three days after the victory in the caves, Vern rushed into my cabin. Dude, he's here! The captain of Seed Hollow's army is here! Here? On the Grand Cipher? My eyebrows drew themselves together. I was quite certain we hadn't been seen. Do you think he figured us out? No, no. That shouldn't be possible. I had lived and worked in the shadows for many years. I knew how to remain invisible. Let us meet him in any case. It would be discourteous to turn him away. Agreed. We're lots of things, but Rude ain't one of them. Vern led me to a spacious room on the Grand Cipher, where our guest sat perched on the edge of a comfortable chair, his hands upon his knees. He stood up quickly when we entered. It's, uh, been a while. He wouldn't quite meet my eyes. As the young man swallowed rather loudly, I recalled his last words to me. We can handle monsters without you swinging in to save the day. It has. I still regret my actions in the forest. Is that what you've come to talk about? No. 
He shook his head vigorously. I'm here to... thank you. You saved my life, and the lives of my comrades. So, our presence had been noticed. I swept my cloak back in a deep bow. I apologize for interfering yet again. Oh, oh, no, please, stop with the apologies. You're just making me feel worse. Listen. He explained. Three days ago, Seed Hollow's army had been called upon to drive back a horde of goblins. He had marched his company there with a heavy heart, expecting great losses. But to his surprise, when they emerged from the goblin den, they were not missing even a single soldier. Goblins are intelligent. They post sentinels and form ranks, just like we do. Sword fighters and shield bearers in front, mages in back. Any battle with them should have been tough and bloody. Yet these goblins had no set sentries, and their forces were meager and scattered. Even the large beasts the goblins kept in reserve had been terribly weakened by the time Seed Hollow's forces reached it. But what could have worn it out like that? A night of partying too hard? No. Someone had to have helped us, and luckily, I had an inkling who. Now he raised his round, earnest face and looked straight at me. There was this knight who'd saved my troops before. He wore jet black armor and carried a crimson sword. Yeah, no way you'd forget that get up after seeing it once. Vern peered down at my armor. It was map black, so I could slip by in the night unseen. But I suppose outlined against the light of the sun, it cut quite a distinctive figure. The rest really wasn't that difficult. Went with that description to a merchant who deals with a lot of foreign traffic, and learned about a former night captain. I see. Years away from the battlefield had dulled the army's swords. This I already knew. But now I realize it had allowed them to build rapport with their people, winning them trusted eyes and ears throughout their country. If anyone should be apologizing, it's me. Before I could stop him, he went down on one knee. That day in the forest, I was frustrated and ashamed by the weakness of my troops. So I took it out on you. I'm sorry. You saved my soldiers not only once, but twice. And the second time around, you even made sure we learned from the experience. I really don't know how to make it up to you. Vern and I looked at each Give other, me money. surprised by the sincerity or more experience. Or new your weapons. kind words are more than enough, and your forgiveness. The young man opened his mouth, but I shook my head. Whatever the circumstances, I still trampled your pride underfoot. I guess... <laughs> What's pride when just compared kind of to stuff. life? Fine. To speak the truth, I thought Seed Hollow's forces poorly trained and disorganized, from an outsider's perspective at least. By placing a hand beneath the man's elbow, I silently bid him rise. But I see now that you have strength and wisdom that was hidden to me. With you in command, I have no doubt your company will go on to accomplish great things. That means a lot, coming from you. He smiled the tension melting from his frame. But the fact remains that I let my soldiers get out of practice. You've helped me realize a lot these past few days, and I promise we'll train harder than ever, make up for lost time, and become the defenders this country deserves. Good. Never stop believing in yourselves. Seed Hollow, a land of gardeners who derive joy from the bounty of flora, and the simplicity of peace. Though they were no longer the mightiest of warriors, they were by no means weak. No more than the wildflower, who holds aloft its petals in dry soil and through battering storms. And like wildflowers, they would continue to grow and flourish. Though Seed Hollow is a small country now, perhaps in time, it will rise to become a mighty nation. When that day comes, it surely will make a valuable ally for Fiendrock.
Hmm. All right, it's time to finish this. My work here, <laughs> my work is done here. Okay. Screenshot. Hey, is it just me, or have we been getting less monster hunting missions recently? We, as all Skyfarers, were used to shouldering the quests of greatest peril, as we've seen more combat than most standing armies. However, though Zega Grande was as plagued by monsters as ever, we'd had a quiet few days. I think I can explain. Lyria raised her hand, eager to impart valuable intelligence. Apparently, Seed Hollow soldiers have been super on top of things lately. A monster appears, and before the Crew Alliance can even draft up a mission, they get in there and solve the problem. Good for them, but less work for us means less jingle in our pockets. Vern drifted to me from across the room, and positioning his snout by my ear, spoke in a whisper. Yes, they really got their act together, huh? It would certainly seem so. I looked up at my small comrade in training, and we exchanged a secret smile. Well done, troops. Well done. <laughs> Okay. Have a good day. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Let's see. Journal? Anything new? Any trophies? Yep. Ooh, got a mirage munition. Good, good, good. Here. Secret, you have an extra digital slot. Region. Oh, got some in in interesting stuff. can use this. Shorten skill cooldowns whenever you hit a foe and deals more damage to foes inflicted with status ailments. Why not? Okay, so... Oh, he has more power than Gran. Because Gran is missing the mastery over mastery. Yeah. All right. I don't even need anything from you, dude. I need to plus up my weapon. Tempering your weapons? Yes. Imbuing your weapons with power. chance that I can all right let's let me show you what my max is perfect level up this one to 75 to unlock more Leave it points to me. for Lancelot yeah and I well. have enough money so we go to masteries and I spend that here. Plus thousand HP. I still room for improvement. God damn, that's a lot. 
Nice. Now I have more HP than freaking Siegfried. Cool. And now my power level is 7.5k. Thousand more than Grant. Okay. Gagliester is left behind because reasons. I'm not going to do another fake episode. May maybe if I do one more uh, session in this game, maybe I'll do it in the next one. But for now, Which will it be? it's time to farm. Wings of the Storm. Here are the details. Defeat Elusius Windworm. Be on your way. The dragon. That deals wind damage. And we need fire damage, but we like that one, so this is gonna be fun. But we're stronger. And I'm more experienced. Let's go. with a sufficient strategy. Okay. On my mark. Take this. It's, it's over. That was a beautiful ah, maneuver. My 
the North Point. You've given courage. A focus for four. On me. Understood. Self formation. Understood. I won't fail. Understood. Getting bodied in spite. Careful as we proceed. Of course. You cannot hit me here, you can't hit me here at all. That's right. Like the north wind. Ow. I am not versed in alchemy, but your power is unmistakable. Centuries has taught you much. Right. Almost dead. 
You can ace this. Ace this without ever getting down. I just said something, come on. You're not getting down. down. No? No? Kill the dragon. Good time. Yes, sir. Dangers lie ahead. We'll be ready. Let's go. You just got filtered. Hey. Give me resistance sigils. Who the hell is using those? Come on, A rank. Hey. What do you mean I smell weakness? Dodge payback and attack. Huh. Okay, we got some curios as well. So we will return to Zatba. Ooh, got the notes. I've got news. Meet me at the church. Oh my god. Uh, just a second, guys. Oh my god, can I actually finish this yeah. game? Ha. I smell money. I smell weakness. Look at you. You found me something nice. Provoke. Throw damage. You what the hell? Shiny. Master is. Oh, it's not enough. Okay. Wait, journal. Okay. Yeah, he needs that. Plus one second, one point four per cent. Skill cooldown after perfect dodge. No, we don't need this. We got something. We just got a new item. Uh, not that one. Oh yeah, what is this? Boost damage of thrown objects. <laughs> That's just stupid. Dodge payback. Okay, more power. Alright, let's save the game. And I guess let's save Roland. Excuse me. <laughs> Resume main story. It's been a while. <laughs> It's been a while. Let's do this. I 
never thought I'd see the day you call us together. I'm thrilled, but what's the occasion? Damn, they look a bit it's fancy. This got something to do with all his notes we've been finding? Been meaning to take a crack at him myself, but all that dimension hopping mumbo jumbo. Well, after cutting through the jargon, I figured out that Roland had the means to traverse dimensions. He wrote about the transceiver, right? The one he gave to Vern? Maybe it's the key. Hate to be a spoil sport, but a talking box isn't gonna do much on its own. Don't we also need Fixit Dude's magic to open the gate? I got that impression too, but his final transmission was less reassuring. Before all this mess happened, maybe he had thought he could escape any dimension on his own. But luck wasn't on his side. Let's not forget he's stuck in Bahamut Versus dimension. A pocket of space so powerful it could even contain Angra Mainyu's reality-distorting powers. It's no wonder that Roland couldn't open a gate. And if an astral couldn't manage, what are we supposed to do? Grab a crowbar? Hang on. I think I have a plan. Fifteen years ago, during the Dali catastrophe, Bursa manifested in the Sky Realm to stop Angra Mainyu, right? Lilith managed to seal Versa inside of me during that incident. Your crew severed our connection, but a vestige of its power remains. So Roland's magic failed because he drew on Angra Mainyu's power. But if we draw on Versa's even stronger capabilities... ...then we might have a chance. Well, let's do it. It's worth a shot. My thoughts exactly. I never asked for that cursed dragon's power. But I might as well put it to good use. Besides, I can still feel that dragon out there. Hey, Helmsman. Still remember where we last fought? Sure do. I can get the Grand Cipher turned around in a flash. So, is this the end of Mr. Fixed's reign as town handyman? Come on, after all he's contributed, once we get rolling back, they ought to team up and take the handyman world by storm. Let's cross that bridge when we get there. First, we rescue Roland. We're with you, Id. Thanks, crew. We've got your back. Damn. After all this time, we can Head finally finish this game. Ready. Holy if hell. This might be the finale, then. Ho oh, ho. Let's go. I'm not even going to fast travel. I'm just going to run there. Yes. Let's we can... talk. I'll make a decision once I see what you've got. I can make just about anything. Don't forget oh, let's about go. upkeep. We already checked that. Head to the forgotten skies. Here we go. The grandest finale. The grand finale. It's been a while since we used this ship. And of course there's loot. Don't mind if I do. Wait, do I have to Oh. I guess I have to control Captain. Roland. Well at least while I'm on the sh Roland. ship. Right? Captain. Oh, Go save Roland. Hell yeah. Okay, Dragon of Destruction. Your power better work. Let's 
screenshot. time use the power of friendship now's our chance <laughs> <laughs> Here and now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, dragon versus dragon. Oh, guys, is it just me or did Scaly grow a few sizes bigger? It is stronger on its own turn. We won't back down. Let's knock it down to size. Yeah. Use potions. No, charging up. Because our HP is horrible compared to the boss. It can also use overdrive. <laughs> oh, we're gonna stay here forever. Make sure everyone properly, properly geared up. This is not about gearing up. This is about oh, a God. different combat it's encounter. It is stronger on its own turn. No matter. We won't back down. Oh, Let's knock it down to size. Yeah. How do I cancel that game? Please, 
song that we rage quit this game. I wanna finish it. Don't worry. Can I go? I can't. Oh. Okay, I did it in time. Went to use Reagan Leaf for that shit. No! Charging up! Heal me.
get tracked. Damn it. We're too late. Please tell me this was scripted. There's Roland. Roll credits. Well, the time has come to put Verso away for good. But I'm going to need everyone's help. Feel me. Your crew, Lyria, ready? You bet. You bet. No glory. <laughs> trying to hold back a waterfall. Okay, we can take over from here. Hear me, you know. And I'll drive the final nail in its coffin. Got it. I'll cover you. Just hang in there. Doing nothing, just dodging. And it still hits me anyway. <laughs> That's cheap. Shit, I'm sweating. Come on. Herald of Azure Ruin. Grant our full annihilation! Get wrecked. So, can we have a freaking happy ending when everyone is saved? Do I have to leave? Over. 
anyone behind? Mother. Special. Oh, no. Dimension is on the verge of collapse. Hurry, Lyria. Get us out. Right. First off, let me say thank you all so very, very much. You too, Id. I'm glad that you're safe. Right back at you. not long ago that I chose the wrong path and left only suffering in my wake. I committed sins no one could ever deign to forgive. Even so, this world offered me a shot at redemption. I need only look to the compassion of my newfound allies to see that. Glad to have you back, Roland. Yeah. We came to save you. But you rescued us instead. No, no. I have brought you nothing but trouble. This marks a new chance. I won't let it slip away. I'll do everything I can to atone. I must. We were worried sick about you. Same here. You sounded way too relaxed during your final transmission. Mm-hmm. That's right. Lilith raised me to subdue these skies, but your crew gave me direction. Say! Who wants to grab a cold one back in Volca? I could go for a frosty glass of apple juice! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looking back on all that's led up to this moment, maybe there was a reason for the suffering, the strife. The skies won't tell me how to wield it. I was given this power, and I will atone for the sins of my past. I'm sure we can see eye to eye there, can't we? Oh, God of destruction. The Sky Realm is under my protection now. Back in good old Volca. Welcome home, Roland. Id was covering your butt as the local handyman while you were gone. He's like the local town celeb now. <laughs> My goodness, Id has a sociable side now. How long was I trapped in that dimension? Huh? Sorry. On a serious note, it does seem as if time passed at a crawl for me. Or maybe time as we know it doesn't exist where I was. In fact, it felt as if only a few minutes had passed before you suddenly reappeared to save me. Huh. Now that you mention it... Hmm? Mother once said time works differently in Estalusia. But I can't remember much else from the conversation. Whoa! Now that's interesting. Maybe there's a connection with Versus Dimension. I don't like these one-liners. Uh, I mean... Only one way to be sure. Why do you make me choose when there's you only one option? The long just, just saying the line. Sounds... fun, to be honest. 
Oh, it's because the main but character is mute. I think that's I'm why. going to stick to handyman work for a little while. Play talks when I if click an option. That's okay with you. Anyway. No prop. <laughs> well, well, well. It seems my successor has become my rival. Not that I mind a bit of healthy competition. <laughs> with both of you on the case, Volca's never going to have problems again. Forget Volca. Sega Grande's gonna be all fixed up like never before. <laughs> 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 Captain, Zega Grande was one step away from oblivion, but you and your crew saved us all. On behalf of the residents of this Skydom, we are eternally grateful that you've graced our lands. You're welcome. In truth, I realize that our humble slice of the sky is but one stop on your grand adventure. And that you could have easily concluded your business here the moment you sealed Bahamut Versa away. But you linked arms with Id, and came to my rescue instead. <laughs> Imagine that. When this all began, I thought I would be the one to save the day. Now, I suppose you'll be shoving off for the next Skydom soon enough. Yep. It's going to feel lonely in Folka without your good cheer. The next Skydom? Is Dragon's Dogma if you're too. ever in the neighborhood, <laughs> feel free to drop by and regale me with the latest tales of your daring adventures. Until then, I wish you and the entire crew fair skies as you embark once more into the blue. Captain, I say this with all my heart. Thank you for everything. Got you, buddy. Ooh, Skyfarer grade promotion, new grade. I am now a Zega Grandel legend. You may not join online quests as the following difficulty. Maniac and Proud. What? There's two more? Okay. Looks like a bunch of new requests got added. And some of these are doozies. Wanna give them a try? Oh, and there's the achievement, and probably the name of this episode, Skybound Heart. <laughs> well, I still have a little time, so let's look around. <laughs> so me a lot of uh, mastery points. Thing. There you are. Oh, I need one more. <laughs> Let's kick some tail. Okay. Some more fall damage in this game. Journal, trophies, masteries, grand over mastery. Let's go. Plus two hundred attack. Plus two stun power up, plus four hundred HP and healing cap up. That's okay. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, we need to be level 90 and level 100 to get better stats, I guess. It's okay. Gagliostro, more boost for you. Normal attack damage cap up. Attack power and skill damage up, attack power. Oh my Nothing god. Nothing is greater than the pursuit of cuteness. Few DPS, huh? Huh. Oh. Cool. 
Okay. Excuse me. Character unique sigils. Ooh. Ooh. Ever stronger sigils await your creation, Captain. Love a good what not. Let me give you a voucher for him. I see the character specific one. Anyway. Oh, now they're level 60. So it's worth to take them. Ending on a box. Welcome to the party. No, I'm not practicing because I'm not going to play as you guys. Look at this dude. Ah, let us venture forth. <laughs> Betty. Did you miss us, Captain? I don't even know who you are. But you look cute. Oh, we need the Vane and Percival for sure. How's it going? Heard you needed a hero! <laughs> and Percival, so we will miss two characters, but that's okay. Accept your service. <laughs> you look like a Final Fantasy character. Okay, so we're missing this small little dude and the big ass dude. <laughs> Great. Don't be Wait. I have one more card. Okay, so I'm only missing one. Important question. So they are level 60. Okay, they have like 5k points. That's amazing. So look at all those skills. Defense break. Okay. Counter. Damage cut. How about invincible? Parry? Nah. She loses the effect upon taking damage, so that's a buff for the CPU, not for me. Look at all this stuff. I'm still lazy to check out everything. Gold spellbook. That's a lot of XP. God damn. That is a lot of XP. Oh yeah, masteries like... They start with 64... 63%, 64, 66%. That's a long 70 on fairy. Wow. Yeah, they have more than us. 
Cool. Well, time to save the game. Let's see. Can I obtain one more crew member card, crewmate card? Ultimate difficulty, oh boy. Ultimate difficulty has been added to chapter select. Put your skills to the ultimate test and earn rare loot from your triumphs. Come to view the requests. Also, I can play through the entire story on higher levels. What do you mean I missed the chest into what? And now I could do like all of these guys. That's gonna take like hours. To go through everyone. <laughs> it takes like 20 and 30 minutes to do five till epilogue. Here it is. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, this is where the game starts. Look at all these new quests. Crocodile. Oh yeah, these are all boss fights. On maniac mode. Where can I obtain one more? This one, yes? No. One more crewmate card. Anyway, I still have a little time, so. Since I have one more quest here in extreme mode, let's let's do that. Would you take this we need one? to defeat Angra Mining. Doesn't even have weakness. Good luck out there. Thanks. The final fight of this playthrough. Because now it is 100% confirmed that I'm gonna end this. We just finished this. Just before the release of Dragon's Dogma 2. Hell yeah. So now I still have like three more days myself to finish my Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. And I don't have to worry about Yakuza like a dragon because I finished that game like one month ago. <laughs> Bring it on. So dramatic. Don't overexert yourself. Why are we dying? Close call. 
<laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, screw you then. Try not to move. Like the north, a fine plan. Yeah, it is my duty to protect you. This is power. Be done better. Run away. Let's do this. You work wonders. I'm going. I thank you. I need to get out of here. Not getting hit next time. Let's get you standing. Back to the front lines. Well done. I shall not falter. Fatal steel strike. You got anything left? Holy death away! This is a great group, Captain! I'll take it from here! Let's go! Let's play! Their critical condition more than four times. It's already three out of five. All or nothing! Alright! Shine is one! The Astrophysum! What's happening? Dodge through that shit. I thank you. I know I wasn't dodging the second time, but I freaking hate to see that the AI can easily. Do it. What do you mean last chance? Hey, focus. I think we like VPS. I don't know how many do we need to kill. I hope it's not all of them. Because it's never gonna happen. Okay. twice. <laughs> You're still alive. Not in my top. Give me your head. Ready to go. Are you all right? It's fine. Just a flesh wound. Right. Away with you now. Let's go. It's over. Well done. I guess so. I won't. <laughs> Surrender! After me! Go. 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 Careful as we proceed. Destroy Akamana? What the hell is that?
A fine plan. Experiment on me. Uh, salvation for you. you. Can easily destroy two targets, but not like eight. Especially when you don't even have a weakness. Automatic bullshit is this? Everything game. Doing anything, huh? Because I'm not doing so. You speak the truth. Right 
I was outside. Whatever they're doing. I'm going now. I'll follow. This is why we're the best. Yeah, they couldn't have gone better. They're hitting the other one, huh? On my mark. I can't get there. I'll follow. Move it, Theon. Understood. Come on, bitch. game anymore. Yay! Well, not for you two. That was one heck of a fight. From now but on, it's only Modus Gate 3 you. and Dragon Zimmer 2. Mm. And the main focus is on Dragon Zimmer 2. Mm. I'll probably play this game later, but probably not gonna record anymore. I'm gonna record content. After this, I'm just happy that I managed to, to actually trade. finish the story, so there's that. And this game is not about the story at all. Well, okay, we got B rank. Ooh! Easy. <laughs> Done. It's over. Oh, 
So, let's check out the journal one last time. For new trophies. Oh my, we got a lot of stuff. Cool. Let's see, masteries. Overmastery. It cost me two, uh, 1000. Let's do it. I don't care. Chambers damage up, healing cap up, skill damage up, he health up. Mm. Yeah, I'll keep it Great obviously. Take I just spent 1000 points. God damn it, I'm a healer. <laughs> 8.2k power. Nice. Inventory. Oh, we have spell books. Can I reach level 100? Don't think so. Need to get more of these books. Oh, I skill because of the new characters. Let's talk. Show me. Oh my god, we have money. Once your weapons tempered? Yes. I'll handle it. Good. I'll unlock its hidden potential. No, you won't. Fish! I'll handle it. How about that? I'll handle it. Okay, so 75 everything, 75 everything, 75 everything. That's 50 because I like the material. All right, let's get to it. Well, don't forget about upkeep. I won't. Let's see. There's one more side quest over here. That I can instantly turn in. Nice. I can use more mastery points for collection. I walk the path of my forebears. More HP. Uh, space. Training sure pays off. I'm keep misclicking. Oh my god. The path of the warrior stretches ever long. Thousand more points, but the other characters are not high level. So I'll skip. I'll keep Complete. those. Uh, Alright. I need gold dahlia badge for this. Never 
I can only get vultures. Wonder what kind of sigil we'll see today. How do I get the Dahlia bitches again? Still so stupid that this is the end of my playthrough and I have no idea how to get Dahlia images. <laughs> Duh. I can get. Ah, Screw it. Yes. Can I help you? Right. So we complete everything here. Yeah. And I need to do everything in order to unlock the next one. <laughs> because there was one more. Proud or something. And I actually have the power level for this. Come again. But not the skill. Ha! Nor the time. Let me check the city one last time. Buy from me and you'll agree. This breath. I can see some uh, quests. Where are you hiding? Yo. I smell a new mission. Helen. How do you do? Yeah. Huh. I smell money. Look at you. A praise. You me something nice. Where's the resistance? Come on. Give me something like instant kill. <laughs> don't like this place and also don't like the side story placement it's so random oh I had the key I saw that oh man we don't <laughs> need way more it'd be so cool if I could finish this playthrough with level 100 character What's up? Work hard, play hard. <laughs> How sweet. Oh, you will join me? That's it? Okay. Hello. Hi. Just two more quests. And I cannot find them because <laughs> horrible placement. <laughs> I guess there's one down here. And I guess wrong. There's also no stairs on the other side. It's picking dead end. Oh. oh, it might be the NPC that I like. Oh, hold on. Do I have more keys? We found a key. Yeah, I freaking completed the game and there's no keys. <laughs> oh, hi. Yeah, this is why I like this NPC. Always gives me a quest that I can instantly complete. So I guess we're going this way. I was actually here before. There you are, you piece of shit. <laughs> Let's kick some tail. Oh, hi. 
<laughs> anyway, I think it's time to say goodbye. So, thank you guys for watching this very interesting playthrough of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Which I only started to um, gain more experience in like hunting games to get prepared for Dragon Summer 2. But I know the game has nothing in common, nothing really. But still. And I actually kind of regret that I didn't play Dragon Summer 1. Because now I don't have the time to fully record the playthrough of it. Well, I played the game myself. I recently started it to get some uh, basic knowledge again. Because it's an old game. I think it's, the first game came out when Skyrim did it. <laughs> 2011? Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in a new playthrough in Dragon's Dilemma 2 soon and there's still my Yakuza playthrough out there I already completed it myself so yeah and there's obviously my very first onward playthrough as Karlak in BG3 I still need to finish that while I still have the time so yeah thank you again and have a lovely wonderful day or night cheers <laughs>